Sherry Pryor Witter, welcome. Please introduce yourself. Hi, Mark. Thank you for having me. I am the co-founder, CIO, and managing partner of the Witter Family Office. I started the family office 10 years ago, and I continue to build the family office with four legs, the liquid equities, uh, private equity venture, but venture is becoming much more venture crypto, venture crypto liquid, illiquid. We're invested in over 40 some odd projects. And then the fourth leg is tokens. We're invested in 40, 50 some odd tokens. Wow. You've, you've been evolving. So uh, as you look back on 2021, what are your, what are your thoughts? Portfolio wise, probably the most important thing we did was crypto really lean into I've been allocating more and more into crypto. I would say at this point, uh, half of our uh, assets that Michael and I brought to the table are invested in crypto um, in one shape or form, whether it's a crypto volatility fund or crypto options or venture or long only. Um, and I think it was a very good soul searching year because I, I did I socially distanced. I really haven't seen people in person. And uh, I found that I grew a lot during 2021. Interesting. So then going forward, 2022, how do you, how do you see it? Uh, I think crypto is going to continue to be strong. We as a country are carrying over $30 trillion in debt as they continue to print fiat. Uh, I think crypto is good stored value, uh, good hedge against inflation but additionally i think that um it's the amazing technology i think uh one of the things we're invested in and then we're going to be doing much more of it you'll hear, hear more about it in 2022 is a platform called flare run by hugo and uh, my son corby and uh and uh his team they're actually working on the protocol going over flare and for those of us who remember flare ultimately is like um, crypto's AOL. So back when in the, the internet was just beginning, you may have had six or seven computers in a room uh, on different networks, plugged into different networks, and then AOL brought it all together, and that will be Flare. So it's very exciting. That's what I see for 2022. Excellent. So on the philanthropic side uh, this year, is there a particular focus that you have? So my husband's really the one focused on philanthropy, uh, but we work together uh, because uh, what, how much we give is determined uh, upon my gains. And uh, but ultimately, his his causes, which is transitively our causes, is military. Mm -hmm. uh, we do the families of fallen soldiers, so uh, widows can send their daughters to or sons to you know FIT if they want to schools that don't have a tremendous amount of financial aid. And we make we make it happen um land conservation and education so even though a lot of schools have tremendous financial aid there's a lot of expenses that fall through the cracks and if we find candidates that have a lot of promise we'd like to support them great that resonates with me i had someone like you who helped me back in the day so, so then uh how can we help you what are your asks of any kind uh, on the investment side, anything crypto. I really believe in it. So I love to see uh, any opportunity in crypto. On the personal side, um, we are having a major shortage of good people. So if you know of anyone um, at all levels from top to bottom, I feel like uh, I, I'm not even that worried about the skill set. I just need a good person who's loyal and competent. Well, I'm, 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 if you find if we find those people, or if you get more than you than you you can take, you know, let us know too. Absolutely, um, absolutely. And then, uh, if there was one word that you would associate with 2022, what would that be? My experience was intense, and the resulting emotion was gratitude. Intense and gratitude. Yes. Good words. Well, thank you, Sherry. Appreciate it.